around. You know what I want to cook today. I mean, I already got to think of what I want to eat. Now I got to think of what I want to cook too, man. You better make some shorts. You can't keep making pants. You mean you better back up off me? Oh. Bro, I'm tripping. I thought someone was breathing down my neck, all down my back, bro. Low key, Ghost Man, dude, got a point, though. It is getting hot. Hey, let me cook this video, quit messing around. Getting right into it, man. No time to play around. So I'm laying them pants flat, cutting myself a short silhouette. And I'm trying those Johnnies on. A little big around the waist, so we might have to do something about that later. For now I'm cutting out those flares. Seam tearing those out seams. Ironing that half an inch back, you know, just to make sure everything's perfect. Yeah, get the things super flat. Slip them things in there nice and tight. I spray them johns down, make sure they sticky. Did the other side. And y'all already know the deal. Y'all done seen me do this a million times, bro. It's the shorts this time. Now I'm taking out that inseam so it'll just be a little easier to sew. Bro, when I lock in, I be making the craziest facial expressions. Like, what is that? Getting things flat, Stanley. Now they opened up wide. Take them johns to the sewing machine. I'm sewing these flares in, man, but at this point, I really... I guess I'm situating my pins, bro. My sewing machine be a mess. But I'm sewing these flares in, bro, but honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do at this point. I just know I need to make some shorts because it's getting hot. And everybody can't wear pants. Everybody ain't like me. Well, everybody can wear pants, but not all the time. All right, now that we got this devious, treacherous... Now that we got this devious, treacherous, almost villainous silhouette. I'm gonna go ahead and work on some other pants off camera because the videos don't pay the bills yet. I don't gotta pay the bills. I'm gonna decide what I wanna do to these and it's gonna be crazy. Now, what the fuck? Day two. This thing on. I feel like an old head, bro. Every day I wake up some. Look, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I didn't have the slightest clue what I wanted to put on these shorts, bro. And I've been cooking. It's been some days. I still. I still didn't know, bro. It's been like three days since I cooked up the base pair and I, I, I didn't know what I want to put on them. Um. So basically, I don't know if y'all heard about this new game on the new Xbox, the new PS5 and PC called The Finals. But it is a banger, bro. I am addicted. Help me. But low key, for real though, it's so much of a banger. I'ma just cook up a little finals inspired fit, bro. That's just what we're gonna do here today. If you if you here for the gaming, if you here for the clothes, whatever, bro, lock in with me real quick. All right, bro. We up in the kitchen. So sorry if y'all get a little echo, a little resonance, if you will. But the first thing we're gonna do for our shorts is we're gonna download the finals logo. We're gonna throw those on the shorts in a distressed manner. And there's plenty of ways you can get the logo, you know, big enough to how you want it. But the way I did it was I downloaded it and then I went on Photoshop. I dragged it from my computer monitor to my TV screen and I full screen the Photoshop and then I just traced it out, right? And I know that's kind of crazy, but there's plenty of ways you can do it, bro. If you don't have all that stuff, you know, you could, you could just go to your school. If your school got a projector, you know, you can ask your teacher to use a projector real quick, trace it out, or you could download a tiny one, scale it up on some digital software, print that off, use that. Um, you could also download a tiny one, print off the tiny one, scale it up using math, the OG way, you know? But <laughs> either way, all you wanna do is get your finals logo. We're gonna cut this out, trace this onto the pants, and then distress it. All right, so I cut these things up off camera, two of them, and I'll probably put them one on the front and then one on the back asymmetrically. So I guess let me go ahead and get right, go to the sewing lab, go sew those Johnnies up so we can come back and hit it with some distressing. Uh, yeah, you heard them. Yeah, you heard them. Yeah, you heard them. So don't down. Yeah, we jumping hurdles. Let me stop, bro. I'm just, I'm just spraying those Johns down. Sewing those on the sewing machine, half inch seam allowance. I probably should have did a little more so they frayed, but I still like them. 
back one, sew that Johnny on there tight. And that's that. Day three. I came over here, bro, and I was low key so locked in on some other stuff that I was working on that I just started working on the video and I didn't even show y'all, bro. So let me um let me show y'all what I got situated on there so we can continue and get right with it. All right, now I'm getting ready to distress these Johns. And this area right here is where I want to do like some light distressing. You already know how that go. And then on these little lines, I just want to do one line of distresses down and then vertical, whatever you want to call it, man. Y'all know, y'all get the vibe, man. And then right here, just anywhere within that area. So let's go ahead and get situated, man. These things are going to be a banger, bro. I might have to go murder after this, bro. But only, only in the simulation. It's just a game. Man, you heard Funky Yunky. We're going to take them things outside and get the distressing. Got the main distressing around those finals logos. And then I just hit it with some, some light distressing in the, in the extra space, in the negative space. Whatever you want to call it, man. And I took them things on the ground. And then I hit them with the wire brush to get those white threads showing. Swiping them left and right. Don't want to go up and down to break them. Getting the things nice and cleaned up. After that, y'all already know what time it is, man. I'm patch you the pirate. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm just patching these things up, though. Cutting out some strips of denim, spraying them on there. Taking them things to the sewing machine. Zigzagging, closing them up, bro. You can leave them unbacked if you're feeling a little, a little freaky. But y'all already know how I be feeling. I like to fill mine up. Back them up, patch them up. That's really about it, bro. Throwing them things up. Hold on now, man. I don't know if y'all be knowing, man. I wear pants, man. Even if I got to have them looking like this, I don't care. I wear pants. I don't be finding no shorts that's like getting me drippy for real, bro. I be putting on shorts. I be feeling like a dweeb, bro. But I might, I might have, I might have cooked. That boy might have cooked. We might have got a banger on our hands, man. What the elf? Look, man, I'm going to tell you how it is straight up. I'm going to go home because I ain't even showered yet, bro. I ain't even showered yet. I know I was supposed to start showering before I started, bro, but I just be so eager to cook for y'all, bro. Let me go home and shower and get right. Then I'm going to come over here, readjust this waistband, and then we should have a crispy pair of shorts, dog. Oh, my God, bro. Finally, bro. Y'all don't even know, man. I'm lit, man. Get it, man. So they pretty much fit everywhere besides the waist, and I'm pretty ecstatic about it. Are wicked, bro. I'm really finna cash out. I'm really finna cash out. Me, me, and me, I'm finna cash out. Bro, what? These things are wicked. All right, now I just need to, um, I need to take this back seam in, bro. Let me go ahead and take this crotch seam in, maybe pick it up a little bit. I don't know. But let's go ahead and situate it so we can dye these things up. These things are wicked. I'm really finna cash out. <laughs> To move this back scene, I'm gonna show y'all my little sauce, my little secret sauce. Don't show nobody. Don't show nobody unless you send sending them this video. Don't tell them. Bring them here. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back belt loop off. Bro, if y'all haven't played the finals yet, bro, and you do play video games, y'all gotta lock in with it, bro. Cause I know, I know it looks fast and it looks crazy, but it's low key, like the maps are so big, it kind of moves slow, bro. And I don't know, it's kind of a chess and not checkers vibe. That's why I like it so much. So a perfect example of how it's chess and not checkers. Let them fight, bro. You can beat her afterwards. Let them fight. This one, I'm already messed up, bro. It's two enemies looking at me. I'm trying to res. I get out of there. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm waiting it out. Stun him. Ah, he paralyzed. Gas him. Oh, uh, yeah. That's that Zah. Come through, clean up. I do a little matrix dodge. It's crazy plays on there, bro. I don't know, though. They just be giving me bad teammates half the time. Like, you cannot make this shit up. Bro's about to pick me up. And he just threw me off the map. I might be like, what are you doing, bro? I'm switching to one teammate. He's he's halfway across the map throwing goo it off the map. And I'm switched to another teammate. He's ziplining to a building to flank a, a sniper by himself. I'll be like, bro, this is not how you play the game. Like you have definitely have to play with your teammates. And whenever you get some good teammates, you, you lock in. It's really fun, bro. That's why I like it so much. Like the energy from it, anything can really happen in it, bro. The gadgets that they have in it, like the portals and the anti-gravity stuff and 
I don't know. It's crazy. It's a crazy game, bro. Y'all gotta check it out. Check it out if you're a fellow gamer. And I'm struggling with these belt loops. Hold on. And so I managed to get the belt loop off. And now the next thing I need to do is just pop this crotch hem right here. Not crotch hem. Pop this crotch seam to release this seam. And I can be able to pop these seams. I just sewed this up, bro. And once I pop those, now I'm just gonna pop this back seam right here. And I can really, I think I might be able to pull them because they're chain stitches. So let's see, they usually go up this direction. So I'll pop two from here, maybe three. And I should be able to pull them. Okay, so this one goes down. This one, they both go down, so let me see. All right, now I'm gonna pop this waistband right here. So I can try to go from the top down instead of from down up. I just want to go from the chain stitch. Whichever way the chain stitch is going, it'll be easier to just pull them. So that's what I'm trying to find right now. It'll be able to, I'll be able to pull out easier, it'll be cleaner. Let's work overall, bro. I don't see more work this, I swear. So now I'm going to do the same thing. Pop two or three from the top. I should be able to pull them, hopefully. Yes, sir. So these went from the top. And if they ever tug up like that, you might have threads intercepting with them, or you might have to come over here and pull these threads, right? Damn, this one broke. But if it was long enough, you could pull this thread and pull them both at the same time. All right, now let me iron these Johnnies out and cash out, what else can I say, man? All right, so from here, I went ahead and ironed them out flat, and then I'm just taking that back seam in a couple of inches. Make sure you keep your back pockets pinned up because you don't want to squeeze too tight to them johns. But then after that, I sewed them up off camera, and I'm just ironing them nice and flat so they sit pretty. Now I'm just cutting off the excess, and then I cut a little, maybe like an inch off the crotch so it sits a little higher. Took them things to the surgery, and I'm just trying to get this thick denim through it, bro. You know it want to mess up on me. Never want to see a young black man win, bro. It's crazy. No, I'm just playing. So I finished that up. And then I pinned up my crotch. Surged that inseam up, man. That's pretty much it, bro. Several days later. All right, y'all. It's been a couple of days, but we finna get straight back into it. I got the shorts in the wash. I bleached those up earlier. I got those looking right and tight. And now we finna do this t-shirt right here. And I think it got something to do with like an update. They patched something and then some people were complaining about it. And so they like dropped it. I don't know, bro. I just saw something already. But I just think it's a hard, it's a hard t-shirt. So let's go ahead and cook this up. I already got this shirt, the shirt that I used from the other video. I got that shirt, I cut it out and it looks crazy as a tank top. All I gotta do is like mark off some hems so I can surge that up, sew that up and then make that look decent. Cause I just cut it up and it, look, it looks crazy, bro. It looks jagged. I'm gonna sew that up and then we can we can print what we need to onto it. Bro was having a hard time there. Here it is, like I said, it was a little jagged. And so I'm just marking the line that I can cut. And then once I got that clean cut line, you know, I can then take it to the serger and then, you know, it'll look nice, it'll look presentable. So boom, we surging them up all the way around the edges. And you could leave it blank if you want it because like raglan tank top is crazy. But I wanted to print on it with HTV and I didn't know if a dye bath would funk it up. So I went ahead and dyed everything first. Hit it with the bleach. You know, we got to get that blue off the denim. Just a little bit though, because I already bleached shit with a spray bottle. So I threw in those shorts along with not one, not two, but three other pieces you can find on my Depop. Get them things sunk down up in there. And it didn't really work, bro. So I, I took everything out because I didn't add enough bleach. And then I added the color remover. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, bro. But low key, I kind of liked it, bro. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell Rit, honestly. But yeah, throwing everything back in there. Readjusting my life values and whatnot. And now we can hit it with the dye bath black powder you already know brown wet stuff mix it up good bro mix that brew up now I'm dropping that tank top in there along with those other bangers man now 
now that the garment construction is done, that's the hardest part, bro. We're on to the easy stuff. Let's go ahead and get this print situated. So I'm doing a little research to find out the font. They told me it was Sahira or Sahara Condent. I don't know what it's called, bro. But, you know, I found that. Installed that boy. And they gave me a bunch of them. So now I'm extracting them to see which one matches up the best. Do a good little font match. Install that boy. And then I'm deleting the rest of that junk, bro. Open Photoshop and now let's work our magic. So I put the text in there. Skill issue. Easy enough. And now I'm just messing around with the spacing and whatnot. I bought that period in a little closer. It seemed a little, a little far for me. And then I believe I italicized it. And now I'm just stretching it out and stuff. Squeeze them and there it goes, bro. That's perfect. And I thought that was all the hard stuff, but you know, gotta be issues. So I exported that boy. And then I tried to open up Cricut. Bro, this is why I don't mess with this HTV and Cricut stuff. I hate it, bro. It wouldn't even let me use the software I had downloaded. Tried to go to the internet, use it there. Still nothing. And then once I finally fixed it, bro, I tried to print it and it, it messed up, bro. And not only did I mess up once, but I messed up twice. And then a third time, bro. Get get unk out of here. So I had to make a new tank top. And low key, I'm glad, bro. This one, this one look a little crispier. Got a good HTV on that boy. First try Fridays. And then holy cannoli. I'm finna cash out. <laughs> nah, let me stop playing, bro. But for real, crazy silhouette, bro. I don't know if y'all remember that cartoon Rocket Power. But it gives me the same vibes, bro. Insane silhouette. Nice distressing, bro. I didn't want to do too much on this pair. What? Silly Goose move, bro. Like I said, I didn't want to do too much on this pair, but I did just enough, bro. And once again, may I add, Raglan tank top is crazy. And this time I left the surges on the outside, so just oh, beautiful, diabolical work, bro. The silhouette oh, came out perfect. Nice oversized look, man. I love it. Man, y'all keep cashing out, and y'all remember the past, because that's who made you the person you are today. And stay locked in with me because I'm about to start dropping some affordable drip for y'all. I know I can't even afford the drip I got right now, bro.